Hello Internet. So, aside from being a friendly sort of greeting, that also happens to be the name of a well-known podcast that I like to listen to from time to time. Now, if you're not a fan of the Hello Internet podcast, or you just never heard of the Hello Internet podcast, then this project is probably not going to be of any interest to you whatsoever, so feel free to click away and watch something else. So if you're still there, then I can assume that you know all about Hello Internet, and I don't need to make any other introductory type comments. I'm just going to jump straight into making a wall plaque of the official Nailing Gears flag. So I start on the Hello Internet website. Now not only did Gray and Brady state that the design, quote, belongs to the people, but they've gone so far as to provide graphic files for us to download. So I grab the SVG file there, and then I jump into the easel application over on the Inventables website and create a new project and set the material and dimensions and so on. First I draw out a square, which I will use to outline the plaque. And then I load in the nail and gears SVG file. Now I don't want that rectangular shaded area, just the nail and gears, so I get rid of that. And then I resize the nail and gears to about 9 inches in diameter, and then align it with the box that I created. And then I also set the carving depth to 1 16th of an inch. So for carving I have this uh, black 12 by 12 piece of plastic, which is, I'm not sure, it might be HDPE, I forget. But it's interesting, it's white in the middle, black on the outside, so when you, when you carve it, the image will show through in white, which I think will be kind of cool. So I clamp the material into place on the X car, hook up the laptop, and get back into easel where I load up my project and walk through the final machine configuration steps before I tell it to start carving. Now carving is a slow process, even carving plastic. So I'm going to uh, compress this considerably in the interest of time. Oh, and by the way, um, yes, I, I do know I need to do something about dust control on this machine. So I think that turned out pretty cool. It, uh, the black and the white look really neat together. I think I could mount this on the wall, it would be cool, but I don't think I'm finished. This is the base model. I don't want the base model. I want the pro version. So I'm working with some hardwood that I reclaimed from a trashed IKEA table. I believe it's a kind of uh, European beach or something like that. It with the paint planed off of it, it looks pretty nice. So I have a rectangular piece of wood here. I could make a simple square frame, but I want to fancy it up a bit. So I'm going to, I've marked on the ends here, I'm going to round over the outside, I'm going to cut a cove here on the inside, and of course you need to cut out a notch here where you're going to fit the plaque itself. And this is all going to be done on the router table. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know this is ridiculous. I really need to get myself some strap clamps if I'm going to keep doing frames like this. Oh.
coming along, coming along, almost there. For a finish, I'm going to take this out to the garage and give it a quick spray with lacquer. I can't do that inside, it's not ventilated properly in my basement. That's the pro version. So here we have the nail and gears of the Hello Internet podcast all carved and framed and ready to be displayed proudly. I hope you enjoyed this nerdy little adventure. Now if this is all still a bit puzzling to you and you made it this far, I applaud your tenacity. I've got links down below to the Hello Internet website and to the downloadable graphics that I use to make this. And once again, I'd like to thank you for dropping by to watch me build a project. If you feel I've earned it, please consider subscribing, share this video with your friends, maybe drop by my website and check out some of the other projects that I've made. And I hope to see you next time. And yes, I did this umpteen times with the nail and gear pointing the wrong way and now I have to record it again.